Shelby with his fourth pitcher of the night. Nick Triplett comes in from center field to pitch. Nick Hastings, Nick Hastings, where I get Nick Triplett. Nick Hastings comes in to pitch, and uh, we've got Nick, two Nicks there, and both play the crest, but Nick Hastings in the pitch for post-82 here in the sixth inning. And if he's facing Mark Walker, the Moundsville catcher, bottom third of the lineup, for Moundsville, 7-8-9. First pitch fastball, low ball one. Hastings' next pitch in there called strike one one. Walker over for one, and he reached a lot of base on balls and grounded to short. And he grounded to third, and Mims up with it. Turns over to Melton at first. One down. You want to hear some uh, funny comments from the managers on that? David Johnson said, anytime there's a rules violation, as far as I'm concerned, it's a rules violation. My only comment to him is to read the rule book. It's simple. And, of course, Joe Madden, in, in, in his typical way, I totally understand that. David's right. I'm incapable of reading the rule book. <laughs> and he goes on to say a few other choice words and then fun things. <laughs> Shane Wellman looks at a fastball outside ball one. I didn't realize that David Johnson is the uh, yeah. manager of Washington. He played... Nearby in Baltimore in his days. And Atlanta. Atlanta as well, yeah. They asked Johnson uh, whether he has any intention of meeting with Madden. He said, no, I don't know him that well, but I thought he was a weird wuss anyway. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Next pitch fouled out of play, 1-1. One, one. Uh, guys get paid millions of dollars to coach baseball, and they can't get along ever. Fastball <laughs> inside corner, one ball, two strikes to Shane Wellman with one out, nobody on. Your buddy mentioned Gabriel Brawley. I'm mean, Gabriel Brawley, that's what I sponsored. <laughs> Gabriel Perry, uh, 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 you know, so we will see that against the pitcher. Good ball called strike three. Wellman down on strikes, out number two. Well, of course, Gabriel, coach post 82 one year. I mean, coach for post 82 back in the 80s, one year. Shortstop Ryan Hughes at the plate. A lucky team. I'm guessing. Yeah. Good ball hit to short. Up with a clear. Dustin Green. Low throw, but Brock Melton digs it out. Nice play by Brock Melton. One, two, three here for Moundsville at the top of the sixth inning. And after five and a half innings of play on the medical arts from she scoreboard, 5 1. Moundsville leading post 82. Uh, on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard on Big O Country. <laughs> Hospice of Cleveland County is proud to sponsor this local sporting event. Hospice of Cleveland County is there for you when you need comfort and care. Referrals can be made by the patient, family members, a physician, a minister, a friend, or anyone who cares. Their professional staff at Hospice of Cleveland County is committed to preserving human dignity through compassion, integrity, and excellence in patient care. For more information, call 704-487-4677 or visit the website at hospicecares.cc. Year-round fun begins at the Bargain Station brand name outlet on East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Keep cool with bobbles. Bobble insets are just $6.99 and complete bottle sets are $9.95. You'll find luggage and bags, sporting equipment including golf clubs, grills for cooking and much more. All at big, big savings to you. The Bargain Station name brand outlet, 4400 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, right next to Honda Motorcycles. Open Tuesday through Friday, 930 to 6, Saturdays 9 till 2. The Mattress Store in Shelby has the largest selection and lowest prices in Cleveland County. There are over 25 different floor models to choose from. Come by and check out the selection of mattresses by Simmons, Sealy, Symbol, and Park Place. The Mattress Store has any price or firmness you're looking for. Also check out the selection of headboards, frames, and waterbed supplies. Financing and delivery is available. The Mattress Store, Highway 18 North, Shelby. We get to the bottom of the sixth innings. Five one on the medical arts function scoreboard and um, post eighty two with some of the plays in the bottom of the sixth. Nick Triplett, CJ Brooks, and Evan Ross. And post eighty two is still trying to figure out right under Tanner Hannah for 
Moundsville, West Virginia, just two hits and one run to this point. Ryanander starts tripping off and goes into all the way to the screen and it goes 1-0. Mix bounce to third and through the center. Another thing happened, they know in Major League Baseball, Roger Clemens was found innocent uh, by the jury this week. There's a line of the short, and Hughes grabs it, one-handed, just to his left. Now number one. And, you know, he's tried for lying to Congress, guys. That's what he's trying to do. Yeah. If they had to, they could, they could uh, take every member of Congress to the court. If they want to, they lie to us all the time. <laughs> Left field is C.J. Brooks, our only supermarket player to watch. And he watches a curveball that drops in for a strike and what? There ain't no such thing as a lying politician. They don't use that word. <laughs> now, Dan, you'll be trying to sell advertising in a month or two, so watch out. <laughs> Next picture of old ball, one, one, and one. <laughs> this is now the other way. Don't go in those bridges, big man. <laughs> Is a let up on the inside corner. One ball, two strikes. Now, I'm ta not talking about local politicians. <laughs> I'm talking about politicians in Washington. Uh, good tip to save there, Dan. <laughs> One, two, breaking ball. Give it towards short. Slow roller. It's going to be a tough play. Long throw by the shortstop. Not in time. And C.J. Brooks. I was looking on the video right there, good, good uh, camera view, and uh, Sean there by Josh on there, and uh, you could tell he had just beat it by a step. So with one down, he had it first, and right through to Evan Morales at the plate, doubled his last time up. Throw over to first. Chases Brooks back. Post 82, trailing 5 to 1, trying to work their way back into this ball game here in the sixth inning. There's a curveball that drops in there, all in one. And most American Legion ball goes nine innings, but Moundsville, West Virginia, long way from home, and it'll be a seven inning affair tonight. The next pitch is lifted, right field. Coots over near the foul line, makes the catch. For round number two. I don't know what it is tonight. Most time when the balls go that way, they go in the bullpen. Tonight, something's holding them back, and it's not the win. No, it's not the win because the flag's been completely limp in center field the entire ball game. But you're right, Dan. I mean, it's kind of odd, but right field has made a lot of plays down there. There's a curveball hit off of the pitcher. Hopefully he's okay. It's going to be a base hit, however, for, for Brock Melton. We'll have to see if Tanner Hanna is okay. As a breaking ball, he's up in the strike zone. Melton lined it back through the box. and That's dangerous stuff. It appeared to hit him in the backside, though, or maybe the lower back area, which none of it's going to feel good, but it could have been a lot worse. His catcher, Mark uh, Walker, out to... Uh checking on, but apparently he's going to be okay. He might let him throw a couple warm-up pitches, see if he's going to be okay. Home plate umpire out to have a word with him and probably ask him if he's okay. He needs to throw a couple of pitches, but it looks like Jackson Williams is going to step right in. So runners at first and second now, two down, and who knows, a couple of hits here, and Post 32 will be right back in it. First pitch by Hannah to Mims. A fastball outside, ball one. Post 82 tomorrow night will be in Forest City against Rutherford County at McNair Field. That will be a 7 o'clock game tomorrow night. Hannah's 1-0 curveball misses outside. The count goes to 2-0 on Jackson Mims. And, of course, Friday night, 7 o'clock at Fragley Field in Cherryville. 
Right hander comes set, the two right pitch up and in with the fastball, and now it's three and zero on Jackson Mims. So first eighty two is going to get back in this one. This is definitely the time to do it. Hannah comes set, three zero fastball. That's in there three one. Mims 0 for 2 in the ball game. He's flown to right and struck out. 3-1 up and in. And Jackson Mims reaches with a 2-out walk. And bases full of post-82 runners now. And Riley Smith steps to the plate. And right-hander Tanner Hannah, Tanner Hannah might not have been real badly hurt with that line drive, but he obviously is shaking up a little bit with his control. Catcher Riley Smith over two. He reached on an air and flew to left. 55-foot breaking ball. That'll score a run from third. Here's your chance, boys. Big hit right here. Cut the lead to one. Wild pitch by Hannah, and it's now 5 2 on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Post 82 is a run closer, and the runners are first and second, advanced to second and third. So now base hit, and you're looking at a 5 4 ball game. So Riley Smith, a big at bat as he looks at ball two, low with a fastball from Hannah. And I'm somewhat surprised they haven't at least come out and talked to right hander Tanner Hannah. 2-0, oh, good cut by Smith, but he fouls it off. Smith a little bit out in front there, looking to take a big swing, maybe put one over the wall, maybe even tie it here with one swing of the bat. Post 100 to Cherville has tied Wilmington in the ninth inning. Uh, in the ninth inning, it's 3-3 three three over at Gardner Webb. Right, was it second and third, two down, the count two and one on Riley Smith. And the fastball is up and in, ball three, three and one. I can got over and have been over and seen a game at the new John Henry Moss Stadium over at Gardner Webb. Just finished her second year playing in it. I'd like to get over and maybe next season see the Bulldogs play over there. Hannah ready now with the 3 1 offering. Good cut, but a foul back behind the plate by Smith, and that'll run the count full 3 and 2. It's been an uphill battle all night after the five runs in the second for Moundsville. And Post 82 trying to fight back here in the sixth. There's a long foul shot just foul. Yep. Ball uh, clearly hit about a foot or two foul. And the dirt, the dirt to the left of third base would have scored two runs easily. And Smith would have been at second. I tell you what, third base coach needs an Oscar for that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> he was waving them on, but you could see it pretty well. <laughs> he, he saw the ball and found He just started waving the runners on. <laughs> That's Chad Fowler and Shelby assistant coaching in the third base coaching box down there. He played attention in drama. There's a breaking ball. High chopper toward third. Going to be a tough play. Third baseman throws to first in time. 5-3 oh, 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 oh. ends the inning. <laughs> wow. But post 82 play. picks up one run on two hits. There were no errors, and a couple of runners left on. After six on the Medical Arts Front View scoreboard, Moundsville leads post-82-5-2 on Big O Country. Denzel Washington and Jennifer Lopez for the Boys and Girls Clubs. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. You can change a child's future. Support your local Boys and Girls Clubs. Great futures start here. You can open doors for children to have great futures at the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland County. Visit us at 412 West Sumter Street or at greatfutures.org. From online banking to high-yield CDs, we're all about financial services with hometown spirit. High-performance auto loans, comfortable home mortgages, savings that'll save the day. It's all here, and it all comes with a hometown heart and spirit you won't find at other places. Come in. Let's talk. We're an equal housing lender. Substantial penalty for early withdrawals on CDs. First National Bank. 
Hometown Banking since 1874. Member FDIC. Saturday, that'll be a 3 o'clock game, and they'll play at Cherryville at 7 o'clock, I believe it is, on uh, uh, Sunday. So, the uh, junior team, uh, Coach Rupp and the guys uh, have done a good job, I'm proud of them, and uh, they keep winning. Very good uh, junior team for Post 82, and yes, they've had a great year so far. But as we go to the uh, top of the seventh, this is the final inning, folks, because... Uh, this is a seven-inning game tonight. Shelby trails 5-2 to Moundsville on the west on the uh, medical arts Trumpsy scoreboard. And top of the order up, Jimmy Henderson, uh, Tanner, Hannah, and John Morandi. Buddy? And Henderson 1-3 on the night. Takes the first pitch from Nick Hastings. Ball one. Nick in his second inning of work for post-82. Check swing, they look down to the first base on pie, so he held up. They count 2 0 on Henderson. High with the fastball, 3 0. Henderson struck out, he singled to right, and then bounced into a 6 4 3 twin killing. The 3 0 is over 3 1. Moundsville with five hits on the night. Post 82 with four. One hopper sharply hit, but a good play by Hastings. He under had it to Brock Melton for round number one. Great stab there by Hastings. Don't know. I mean, that, that might have been even a base hit. I don't know if the shortstop would have been able to get to it, but uh, Hastings talked it up on the mound. Stabbed a great play. Yeah, I think you're right, Kevin. I think that would have been under center field. Good job by Hastings. Field in a spot. That sends up Tanner Hanna. Takes a strike on one. Braves won again today, this afternoon, over the Yankees up at Yankee Stadium. And uh, they won two out of three up there uh, at Yankee Stadium. And they head to Boston. They'll play Boston uh, beginning Thursday up at uh, Boston. <laughs> And I went, I, I, went blank, I went blank. I went blank on the, the field name right there. Where are we going to play it at, man? Uh, not in Wrigley. Boston? Not in Wrigley. Uh, Fenway. Fenway Park, yes. I thought Yankee Stadium was in Boston. Breaking balls, run on and foul behind the plate. Count one and two on Hannah. Uh, Boston has nothing yet good. I'm sorry. <laughs> one out, nobody on. Top of the seventh inning, Moundsville five. Shelby 2 on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard. Nick Hastings on the mound, and the fastball misses up and away, 2-2. Two and two. I heard the Braves announcers uh, uh, talking about the new Yankee Stadium, and uh, one thing Dave's just pointed at, the monuments that were out in center field in the old Yankee Stadium and could be seen all the time, uh, you can't see them now. Behind the wall. Yeah. Down ball third base, can't come up with the play. Probably going to go as an E5. It was hit off of the fist by Hannah. You can see him getting up off the ground after slipping. Got to keep your head down on those. Rule number one, slow grounders. And that'll send to the plate, John Melandy. Another thing about Yankee Stadium, they said all the 17 or how many Yankee numbers have been uh, retired, uh, you can't see those numbers either. They're behind... Uh, commercial signs in the ballpark. Fastball over, called strike, 0-1. Well, that two for three on the night. Well, this, like like this, Mickey Man Warren and yeah. uh, people like that. Well, this ballpark's bigger than that one. Yes, it's bigger than the old Yankee <laughs> Stadium. That's what is it, 275 down the line? That right field. <laughs> 275? It's, it's at the pole, I think. Uh, one pitch is over, 0-2. It's a little league field at the pole. <laughs> I could pull that up to be exact. One out runner at first for Moundsville. Hastings delivers. 
called strike three outside corner. Randy didn't like it, but he's down on strikes. And there's two gone. He's to That'll bring up cleanup batter, Todd Schmidt. Hastings first pitch to him, a fastball, lifted to right field. Lorasis on the run, makes the catch. And once again, Dan, it stays in play. And good thing for post 82, and that ends the inning for Moundsville here in the seventh. No runs, no hits, one arrow, one left. We go to the bottom of the seventh, last chance for post 82. They trail Moundsville on the Medical Arts Structure Scoreboard 5-2 on whatsupshopper.com and WOHS. There's never been a better time to switch to Nationwide and save. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call Heather, Geary, Mark, or Gaylord at the Gaylord Brawley Nationwide Insurance Agency in Shelby. You can trust Nationwide. Serving North Carolina customers since 1928 and number one for 20 straight years. The Gaylord Brawley Nationwide Insurance Agency, 1235 Falston Road in Shelby. Call 704-484-2680. Medical Arts Pharmacy is your locally owned independent hometown pharmacy. Unlike the big chain stores, Medical Arts Pharmacy calls you by name and treats you like family and friends, not a number. Medical Arts has more national board certified technicians and personnel than other pharmacies to keep down your waiting time on prescriptions. Online refills at medicalartsofshelby.com. Medical Arts Pharmacy, 108 Grover Street near the hospital in Shelby. Call 704-487-8068. Everyone knows Kibo's has the most delicious pizza around, but now Kibo's has breakfast biscuits and hot wings. Yes, now you can get bacon, egg, liver mush, and sausage biscuits, and fantastic hot wings. Keith and RB remind you that Kibo's is also your one stop when you run out of milk, bread, soft drinks, candy, gum, crackers, charcoal, soap, tobacco, oil, and when you're running low on gas. There's also fresh produce and hand-dipped ice cream at Kibo's. Highway 226 North at Zion Church Road in Shelby. The athlete's choice. Back at Veterans Shield Keter Stadium as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, 5 2, post 82 trail in Moundsville, West Virginia. This is final at bat. This is a seven inning game tonight. And for post 82 at the, the plate, uh, bottom three in the order Destin Green, um, Nick Hastings, and Austin Bridges. And Dustin looking for his first hit of the game. He struck out and flown out to right. Takes a pitch in the road, one and out. Line score five, five and one for Moundsville, two, four and two. For post eighty two. Right hander Tanner Hannah has went the distance for Moundsville. Dan, those uh, dimensions were 318 down the left field line and 314 down the right field line and 408 the center. Okay. And A-Rod asked Chipper for an autographed bat yesterday is what Josh says. Wearing his big Atlanta shirt on, big A on the front of a shirt. 2 eight pitch misses a little away, ball 3-3 three, three, now. To Dustin Green. One thing about Major League Baseball, I... Uh, I really miss is taking called strike one, throw the ball four there. Yes, I never got to see Mickey Mantle play in person. I'd like to, I've never seen a game at Yankee Stadium. I'd like to go see a game there. I always wanted to see growing up Mickey Mantle play in person. Are you a Yankee fan or something? Yes. The three one catches the outside corner and runs the count four to Dustin Green. Not like I was earlier. I'm more of a Braves fan now, but uh, back in my Younger days, the Yankees are my team. Playoff pitch popped on the infield. Calling for it. Ryan Hughes at short. And he'll make the catch for out number one. Shelby down to their final two outs. Down five to two. Bottom of the seventh inning. Only playing seven here tonight, folks. Only playing seven. And Chandler Young steps in. If I came all the way from West Virginia, I'd want to play nine, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, uh, 
I'm sure right now they're glad yeah. they're only playing seven. Yep. Curveball outside, 1-0 on the yard. Fastball drilled to left center field. I don't think anybody's going to get this one, but you never know. They don't. All the way to the winning track, and it's going to be a stand-up, one-out double for Chandler Young. Center fielder did a great job getting the ball in right there, keeping it. Uh, who was that, triples or shit, Mike? So you had triples in center, yeah. Schmidt no, is in center for now. Who's the runner? Runner. Chandler Young. Chandler Young with the double, keeping Young at second instead of going all the way to third. And that will bring out the coach here with one out up three. He wants to talk it over. Well, mind you, we'll be on the air on uh, WOHS and WCSL with the uh, Cherryville Shelby game from Fraley Field on Friday evening. And also on Sunday at 1 o'clock from here at Veterans Hill Keter Stadium. They make up the game that was rained out a couple weeks ago here at the Veterans Hill Keter Stadium. Right. So Friday night we'll have. Cherville and Shelby online and, and dirt track racing. And then Sunday, some more Cherville and Shelby. And then we'll have Shelby actually online broadcast Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we'll get ready for the playoffs, Dan. Yeah, on uh, Monday night, Hickory will be here. Tuesday night, Asher will be here. Rutherford County here on Wednesday night. Caldwell County here on Thursday night. Four big Western Division games for post-82. Nick, Nick Hastings at the plate now with the runner at second and one down. Looks at a curveball over for strike on one. And Josh says that you can't be a Braves or Yankees fan. You either need to turn in your Southern card or your Northern card. Yeah, tell him jo Josh Carroll down here. <laughs> he's listening. There's a fastball drilled to right field. Right fielder going back on it. He's not going to get it. One hops the fence. A run will score. And standing at second with an RBI double is Nick Hastings. And just like that, it's Moundsville 5, Shelby 3. And the tying run comes to the plate in the person of Nick Triplett. And that'll bring out the coaching staff once again for Moundsville. We're going to have a change here now. Yeah, the Jam and Jays call to the bullpen coming up for Moundsville. Uh, we'll be back in 90 seconds. Us. We're talking about SM Sports Shop in Shelby. Locally owned and operated with the hometown people like Mike, Suzanne, Dale, Luke, Charlie, Adam, and Darren. They can take care of all your athletic needs. SM Sports Shop is your team outfitter for all local schools in whatever sports you play. SM has letter jackets for all local high schools and is your Cleveland County headquarters for Oakley Sunglasses. SM Sports Shop. 707 South Lafayette Street in Shelby. If someone tried to sell you trouble, you wouldn't pay money for it. That's a product nobody wants. But without the right kind of maintenance for your car, that's what you get. Part of that maintenance should be regular oil changes. The folks at Rapid Pace Oil Change in Boiling Springs will take care of this aspect of maintenance for you. And Rapid Pace is an official state inspection station. So when your vehicle state inspection date comes up, See the folks at Rapid Pace Oil Change, 201 South Main Street in Boiling Springs. Blanton Cars is slashing down payments. We offer down payments as low as $500. We are the most experienced buy here, pay here dealer in Cleveland County. We have cars as new as 2010 models that we will finance in-house. We don't look at your past credit. Your job is your credit here. We have payment plans to fit your budget. Stop by today and let us put you in the car you deserve. Blanton Cars has two locations to serve you in Shelby, East Dixon Boulevard across from the Western Sizzlin' and West Dixon Boulevard beside Taco Bell. When accidents happen, it's reassuring to know that quick expert care is nearby. Carolina's Healthcare Urgent Care Shelby is now open and is staffed with experienced physicians, mid-level providers, nurses, and support personnel equipped with on-site laboratory and x-ray services. So keep our new location and contact information close by for immediate access to the region's preferred health care and largest physicians network. Carolina's Healthcare Urgent Care, 1010 East Dixon Boulevard, Shelby. So Hastings at second. Schmidt comes set, fastball up and in. 2-0 the count. A good thing post-82 course now with the top of the order coming up here with trip with a triplet here at bat. 2-0, 5 
lines the corner. Two balls and one strike. Rick is over three. He's grounded to third. Through the center of the line to short. 2-1 pitch in the middle of the breaking ball. 3-1 and one. and Hastings about a third of the way to third would have to retreat back to second. Needs to really be careful because his run doesn't mean anything. you got to get two. Oh, the will tie. Not the runner at second. No, I was talking about the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just sure. You can't give up an out. Oh, no, absolutely not. Fastball opening ball four, and that will put the tying run on base and bring to the plate the winning run, potential winning run, and the player to watch, or a super lucky player to watch, C.J. Brooks. Well, folks, over at Garden Web, Cherubal has just hit a walk-off home run. Brett Huff in the ninth inning. Cherubal wins 4-3 to three over Wilmington. And uh, with Shelby right here, Dan, we'd like to see one of those right now walk off. Yeah, it could be. it win the game. Schmidt, fastball, upstairs, ball one. The ball Hastings hit would have went out if he'd have got any air under it at all, but the left-handed hook and swing hit, hit a little looper right over the uh, right fielder. He got all of it, that's for sure. Swing and a miss at a 1-0 pitch. It's 1-1. One one. CJ 1 for 3. Schmidt to the belt. 1-1 one, one fastball. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. On deck. Right through the Evan Lorenzo's. 5-3 our score. Runners at first and second. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning. And this is the last inning. The West Post 82 should tie it and a good extra innings. Next pitch fouled off. Back behind the plate. And the count will remain one and two. Post 82 trying to chip away and Get back in it and possibly win it here in the seventh. One two pitch fouled straight back off the screen and a good battle going on right now between Brooks and Todd Schmidt. CJ had a base hit his last time up back in the sixteen and later scored in the inning. Next pitch is slow, chopper towards second. Only one play, it's at first. He makes the play, 4-3 on the put out for out number two. But what that does do is move the runners at first and second up 90 feet. And now, the tying run in scoring position at second. And that'll bring up the right field of Evan Lawson. Base hit, tie game, baby. Evan, one hit tonight, a double. Back in the fourth, let off the inning with a, a double. But was left stranded there. At the end of the, end of the inning. Not much better a player you can have at the play right now. Having the number three hitter in the lineup looks at a strike or what? He's one of these kids that can uh, do that walk off thing, you know? That would be really, really nice. All he needs, he needs a base hit to get the tie run, Hawks, big swing for the home run. Ooh, that got away from the catcher. Fastball, almost a wild pitch. I would have scored one and moved the 100 second up 90 feet. Zoom in, cameraman. Good job by Mark Walker, the catcher, to get out there and grab that one. 1-1 one, one to count. Molasses hits this one foul out of play, right field side. And the count moves to one ball, two strikes. Two down, bottom of the seventh inning. Runners in second and third. 5-3, Moundsville leads Shelby. First 82 down to their final out, but two runners in scoring position, the tying run. At second base. Fastball swung on and missed. That'll take care of Lorasis and that will end the ball game. Well, Shelby in the seventh, one run on two hits. There were no errors and uh, two left on. Final score on the Medical Arts Front View scoreboard. Post 82 loses to Moundsville, West Virginia. 5 2 a final, 5 3 a final score. Back with our Shelby Savings Bank post game show in three minutes on WOHS. WCSL and whatsupshopper.com.
Since 1998, Cecil Burton Funeral Home and Crematory has been serving the people of Shelby and Cleveland County. Cecil Burton Funeral Home and Crematory is there to help the family in their time of need. Cecil Burton and his staff understands the needs of the families they serve and offer that understanding with personal and professional care. They are there to help guide you through the process with compassion. Cecil Burton Funeral Home and Crematory, locally owned and operated, 106 Cherryville Road in Shelby. Have you got a lamp that does not work? Don't throw it away. Bring it into Shelby Hardware, where Neil Holcomb will repair it for you. Neil can fix table and floor lamps, new or old, and he will also work on chandeliers. Your lamp repair headquarters is Shelby Hardware, serving Shelby and Cleveland County since 1979. Easy access, quick, friendly service. Shelby Hardware, 506 South Lafayette Street in Shelby. Call 704-482-4405. As a parent, every choice that I make is an important one, including which automobile insurance is right for my family. GMAC Insurance and Witherspoon Insurance Agency offer the solutions that I need. They understand the importance of automobiles in my life and that I depend on quality service to get me where I want to go. Security comes from the knowledge that there's always someone to assist me whenever I may need it. And in the event of an accident, they will handle my claim fairly and quickly. GMAC Insurance and Witherspoon Insurance Agency. They keep my life moving. Baseball, the national pastime. It's basic, simple. In a time when, for a lot of Americans, many things are not. Your local Allstate agent can help make things a bit easier by saving you money on car insurance. Right off the bat, safe drivers can save up to 25%. Are you in good hands? Your local Allstate agent is Chris McDaniel at the Chris McDaniel Allstate Insurance Agency, 404 Cherryville Road across from the YMCA in Shelby. Call 704-484-3463. It's time to spring into Keith's Carbon and Floor Covered in Shelby for the best possible deals on flooring for your home or business. No matter the job, big or small, Keith's Carbon and Floor Covered is there to help you with all of your floor covering needs at a price that you can afford. Come on in and Keith will be happy to go out and give you an estimate on your flooring needs. Plus you get professional installation. That's Keith's Carpet and Floor Covering, 1162 East Marion Street in Shelby. Hi, this is Woody Durham for Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies in Shelby. Through the years, I've seen a lot of trophies and plaques and none appear nicer than those which come from Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies. Their guarantee is not just a guarantee, but a promise for courteous service, the absolute lowest price, quality products, on-time delivery, and most of all, your satisfaction. Awards for all occasions, plus rubber stamps and engraving. That's Mark Dedman's Carolina Trophies in Shelby. Carolina introduces your heating and air service experts. They service all brands and feature complete installations. 24-hour service with on-call technicians is available. Carolina Energies also features electrical services, including lighting, recess lighting, receptacles, and service upgrades. Plus, they will troubleshoot and repair. They sell, install, and service generators. No job too small. Call Carolina Energies for all your energy needs. 704-482-9500. Carolina Energies, 515 North DeKalb Street, Shelby. Jim Jim and Jay's Pizza Factory is Shelby's home for family food and fun. Jam and Jay's features a pizza buffet with salad bar. Adult buffet is just $5.99. This price good every day, all day, and no coupon is needed. Ages 4 through 10 buffet is just $3.09, and ages 3 and under, free. And there's a fantastic game room. Call for information on birthday parties at 704-600-6182. So come on in. Locally owned and operated, Jam and Jay's Pizza Factory, 1011 Grove Street, behind the Golden Corral in Shelby. In all five of Mounds with Rome came, runs came in the top of the second inning. They got five runs on only three hits in that inning, but were hit long by uh, base on balls and uh, two base on balls and two hit batsmen, and those freebies can really hurt you. Well, when you're out there on the mound, you got to look at it as uh, just like a base hit. Uh, four base runners, that's pretty much like four hits, and uh, you don't have any control of it if you walk them or hit them, and uh, if you make them put it in play, yeah, sometimes good things can happen and your defense can help you out, but uh, a tough inning there in the second inning, and that uh, 
pretty much, uh, like we said, just decided the fate for post-82 tonight. But now, a uh, busy weekend, a busy couple of weeks in the area for Western Division play. But hopefully post-82 will uh, get some momentum here going into the playoffs. Well, post-82 tonight, uh, uh, got the run, uh, runs in three innings, uh, run in the third, uh, run in the sixth, and one there in the seventh, and left the potential time runs on base in the seventh when the final out was made here tonight at Veterans Show Keter Stadium. Let's check the line score uh, here on the Shelby Savings Bank postgame show uh, for uh, Moundsville, West Virginia. Five runs on only four hits. They committed two errors and left five on base. For uh, post-82, uh, three runs on six hits. They committed one error and left six runners on base tonight. And uh, the post 82's record now is seven and nine overall in the season. But the rest of the games from now on to uh, next three next week will be Western Division, Division games of Area Four. That's the games that mean something, buddy. Yeah, it really does. That's the game you want to win and put yourself in the position when the playoffs begin. Uh, that you'll be seated high enough that you'll be in a, uh, a good situation where you can make a deep run and hopefully a run that will uh, allow Post 82 to make it all the way to the state tournament. Yeah, and of course, the state tournament this year will be up at uh, uh, Granite Falls this year, home of uh, Caldwell County, uh, where they play up at Granite Falls, and that'll be the state tournament this year. So uh, uh, we'll see what happens. And of course, the Southeast Regionals again this year will be down in. Uh, Sumter, South Carolina, and of course, World Series back here in Shelby, here at Veterans Field, Keter Stadium. Uh, but it's time for our players of the game. Well, our players of the game tonight, our defensive player of the game is an award that is sponsored by Rapid Pace Oil Change. I'd like to thank Rapid Pace Oil Change and the good folks down there for sponsoring the award all summer long for Post 82. And tonight, the award goes to first baseman Black Melton. Black did a good job at first, came up with a couple of big picks over there, and uh, Brock is our defensive player of the game, sponsored by Rapid Pace Oil Change. Yeah, Rapid Pace, uh, located on, think Rick and the folks out there, located on South Main Street, Boiling Springs. Our best hitter award, sponsored by the good folks at WOHS, that's you, and uh, you, Mr. Calvin, and, and <laughs> Mr. Steve Calvin, Steve. and... Oh, uh, Amy, you know, WHS sponsors it. Yeah. yeah, so the best hitter award tonight, that goes to Chandler Young. Chandler's the only uh, player in the lineup for Post 82 with more than one hit. He was two for three. Chandler is our WOHS best hitter award tonight. And our overall player of the game award, sponsored by SNR Auto Sales for the 12th consecutive year. And tonight, that goes to Chandler Young as well. Put in some time at short on the mound and two for three at the plate. Chandler Young, our overall player of the game. Sponsored by SNR Auto Sales. So that's going to do it for our broadcast tonight. We'll remind you, Post 82, next game will be tomorrow night at McNair Field in Bowling Spring. Uh, excuse me, McNair Field in Forest City. And uh, they uh, will take on Rutherford County, of course, a makeup game for the rain out. Uh, actually, a canceled game back the first game of the regular season. Friday night, they'll be at Fraley Field in Cherryville to take on Post 100. Uh, we'll have it on the air on WHS and WCSL at 645 and on whatsupshopper.com on Friday night. On Sunday, Post 82 will be back here, a 1 o'clock game against uh, this uh, uh, Post 100 charitable team. Uh, they played two straight games uh, for Post 82 together, and they'll be here at Veterans Field. 1 o'clock, we'll be on the air at 1245. That'll be on whatsupshopper.com as well. Then next week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday games, we'll have an all for you right here on WOHS and whatsupshopper.com. So for Kevin Hastings, for Josh Collins, for Buddy Ramey, for our studio producer Steve Roberts, I'm Dan Greer reminding you the final score on the Medical Arts Pharmacy scoreboard, post 82 loses to Moundsville, West Virginia, final score 5-2. to two. See you next Friday, this coming Friday night. Stay with us on WOHS.